Hello everyone. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to say that if you want to subscribe, just click around here somewhere. And uh, yeah, I was thinking about making the best tech news week 46. It's a little bit late. Uh, I was busy this uh, weekend. But yeah, it's better late than never. And um, yeah, the first interesting news we had this week is Nokia Lumia 800 unboxing. I mean, it's one of the first Nokia Windows phones, which is pretty good. It's a 4.6 inch screen if I remember right. It comes with Super AMOLED and uh, yeah. It's a really nice phone, I have checked it out and uh, if you're thinking about buying a Windows phone you should probably get that one because it's a really nice phone and it has some really nice features and it's a really nice looking phone. So yeah, that's what the first, uh, the first uh, news. And uh, we also heard that Minecraft is now coming out with official release. Uh, it, I think it was released like two days ago. I'm not sure though, but I think so, yes. Uh, yeah, so it's now in official release uh, 1.0, I think. So that's pretty nice. And we also got a Samsung Galaxy Note hardware tour by Pocket Now, if I remember right. Yeah, uh, it's a really nice phone, which is pretty sim similar to my Samsung Galaxy S2 here. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit bigger, got a S Pen, and uh, yeah, got some really nice features. Uh, I got uh, like a 720p screen, uh, HD Super AMOLED Plus, uh, which is really awesome. And uh, yeah, for you that think that that phone is too big, I can assure you that it's not too big for your pocket. So yeah. Um, really nice phone I think I will link the video on that hardware like review on this videos description yes I will do that and uh, yeah we also heard that Intel launched a 50 core processor named Knights Corner seriously 50 cores that's freaking awesome and uh, I just bought my quad core uh, i5 uh, 2500K, I think it's called. Um, yeah, it's a really nice processor I have, and I'm really glad I have it. But seriously, when you see this news 50 cores, yeah, you're just. Yeah, you kind of regret that you bought a quad core. But I guess this processor here will cost a lot of money. Plus, there's a lot of programs that can't even use more than six cores. But yeah, if you want the best things and uh, you know have the things that you know you can use in the future, you should get this processor. I'm not sure when it will be released, but it's yeah it's a really nice processor which is sh assured to be launched within like a year or something and uh, yeah we also have the Samsung Galaxy Nexus hands-on review by pocket now I think yeah they're showing the no, it's not Pocket Now. It's I think it was Tech Run, Tech Crunch. Uh, yeah, it was Tech Crunch. 
uh, they had uh, tested the phone for like 24 hours I think and uh, yeah they thought it was a really nice phone not so stunning pictures I mean it's it was a 5 megapixel phone and uh, I know that a lot of you thinks now that it's not all about the megapixels but I saw the camera on that Nexus there I wasn't impressed, I mean, it's a better f uh, camera in my S2 here. Uh, but if you really want to take fast pictures, really fast pictures, you should get this phone because it's like instant picture. I mean, if you click, tick, it takes a picture instantly. And uh, that's a pretty big plus for you that needs that. Um, yeah, and uh, it was also a really stunning screen on that Nexus, which I think have s Super AMOLED. I heard that it doesn't have the same technology as other phones these days. Uh, I think it has like IPS or something, I'm not sure. It can be another technology. I'm not sure, I, I, I will left, leave that un, unstated and uh, yeah we also heard today that there will be no flash report in Ice Cream Sandwich now when it will be released uh, according to Adobe but they will release flash for Ice Cream Sandwich later on uh, but for now you will have to use HTML5 I guess and yeah I, I'm not so sure about the differences uh, but yeah since Adobe will shut down flash support for cell phones I know it will be for cell phones anyway I'm not sure if it, they will shut down the flash for PCs uh, but yeah uh, they will at least make a flash report for ice cream sandwich when no one knows but it will happen probably within this f five months uh, but yeah so for you that really wants flash it will come and yeah we also heard that uh, uh, the Galaxy Nexus will have 16 GB of internal storage and there will be no 32 GB version which kinda sucks for you that really wants a lot of storage but they put in a better battery I don't know if they want to compensate of the 32 GB uh, version thingy or if they just wanted to improve the battery but I have no idea if there is a SD card slot on the Galaxy Nexus if it doesn't yeah that kinda sucks pretty hard um, because that would mean that you can only have 16 GB on the Nexus as maximum which kinda sucks but if you can have SD card, you can have up to 80 gigabytes with a 64 gigabyte SD card, which is pretty much, yeah, it's more than the 64 gigabyte version of iPhone. And yeah, that's a really expensive phone. Yeah, I have no idea what a 64 gigabyte SD card would cost though, but yeah, it would probably cost maybe $150 I'm not sure maybe more but yeah if you really want space then you should get that anyway that's pretty much all for this week you should subscribe up there as I told you before and uh, yeah you should stay tuned for my other videos yeah and there was no 
questions in the last video so I had no questions to answer but yeah you should make a question if you're wondering something it can be exactly anything um, yeah it should be within tech though but it can be anything so yeah just make some questions and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.